KS9000. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the info button at the top right of the screen. This is an Ultra HD 4K TV that supports HDR and is certified as Ultra HD Premium by the UHD Alliance. It is Samsung's main edge-lit model for 2016. It uses a curved 55-inch screen and retails for £2,099. The KS9000 uses Samsung's 360-degree design aesthetic. This incorporates a minimalist appearance and an attractive finish, with a bezel-less screen and a silver trim around the outer edge. There's also a new moth-eye filter on the panel to reduce unwanted reflections and improve the perceived contrast. There's an ultra-thin chassis, along with a stylish rear panel to create an attractive overall effect, regardless of which direction you're looking from. The panel sits on a chrome stand that uses clean lines and an angled support column to create the impression that the screen is floating in mid-air, although you do also have the option to wall mount if you prefer. The KS9000 comes with a One Connect mini box, which means you only need to attach two cables to the TV, one for the box and the other for the power cable, although there are also a few other connections on the TV itself, including an Ethernet port, a USB port and a CI slot. There's also a removable cover to retain the 360 degree design. On the One Connect box itself, you'll find four HDMI 2.0A inputs. One of these HDMI inputs supports ARC, and all the HDMI inputs support HDCP 2.2. There are also another two USB 2.0 ports, along with dual tuners, legacy connections, and built-in Wi-Fi. The KS9000 comes with Samsung's new smart controller. The small remote is well-designed and comfortable to hold, and is not only effective at controlling the TV, but can also be used as a voice controller and as a universal remote. New for this year is an auto source detect feature that supports a wide range of devices. The Smart Hub has been redesigned to offer a new launcher bar that combines all the important features in a single location, making navigating the system and finding your favorite content easier. The menu system has been simplified as well with all the key picture controls in one place, including the usual excellent calibration features and you can find our recommended picture settings in a separate video. As you can see, the out-of-the-box grayscale was very good, aside from a slight deficit of green and an excess of red, which resulted in white pushing towards magenta and some noticeable errors in the brighter part of the picture. The gamma was tracking around our target of 2.4, although there was a peak at 10 IRE and a dip at 90 IRE. We were able to use the calibration controls to easily get a perfect grayscale performance and improve the gamma considerably. The out-of-the-box colour gamut was also very good, with accurate tracking at all saturation points, aside from some minor errors in green, red and yellow. We were able to fine-tune this further using the CMS, and the results were excellent, aside from a slight undersaturation in red and yellow at 75%. The KS9000 supports HDR10 with over 1000 nits of peak brightness, and a native colour space that can reproduce over 90% of DCI. We tested the TV with Samsung's new UBD K8500 Ultra HD Blu-ray player and native 4K content had plenty of detail whilst HDR material looked stunning. However, even full HD images still looked impressive, especially when it came to movies. The backlight uniformity was good, aside from some minor issues caused by the very bright settings used on HDR content. The video processing was excellent, whilst the motion handling was good for an LCD TV and overall the TV delivered a high-end performance at a competitive price. As a result, we have no hesitation in awarding the Samsung UE5 